has been on the market for more than a few months and you're not seeing consistent showings, consistent emails, consistent questioning, consistent contact about your property, you need to be considering a price adjustment. Now, if you're listed at 525 and you're thinking, man, I'm gonna go down to 520, $5,000 drop. That's gonna open my field up to a whole new group of buyers and you're wrong. It's not. If somebody's pre-qualified at 520, they're going to be looking at houses that are 525. So it's only about a $35 difference in their monthly payment. That is not a lot. And even so, I'm sure they can talk you down the $5,000 to get to where they need to be. So you dropping your house $5,000 is not going to change anything. Now, the saying in the industry is 5% helps, 10% sells. Now, at 5%, you're going down to $500,000. That's about $180 a month drop. That is very significant. And that will open up your pool to a ton of new potential buyers. Now, if you really want to get your home sold, 10% sells. 475 k that's about a $250 a month drop in their payment. That is going to open you up to a huge group, and that's what's going to sell it. Now, you might be thinking, man, I don't want to go from 525 to 475. That's a fifty thousand dollar drop, and it's not at all because your home is not worth five twenty five. Nobody bought it at five twenty five, therefore it's not worth that much. And the market is always going to get you the best value for your home. So even though you have it listed at four seventy five, if it's worth four ninety, people are going to pay four ninety for it. So that's my two cents on how you should drop your price. If you have any questions, give me a call. My number is seven six zero five zero three five zero nine seven.